Hey Vsauce, I'm Jake and get ready to app all no. Punch Quiz! It's an arcade style game where you punch and or uppercut everything and anything. Don't like the skeleton? Punch it. Hate torches? Punch it. I don't know what this is? Double punch it. Don't like dinosaurs that shoot lasers out of their mouths? Too bad because you ride one. All this excitement is going to make me have to run pee, an incredibly useful app that tells you when it's a good time to use the restroom during a movie. It also gives you a summary of the first three minutes of the film in case you ran late, and tells you if there's an extra scene after the credits. But if you're in the bathroom and smell something funky, you're in trouble because it might be Funky Smugglers, a fun game with a 70s theme where you screen people at the airport for dangerous goods with an x-ray scanner. The more crazy items you can snag in one go, the higher combo you can secure. There are also really cool power-ups and a pretty swinging soundtrack. If you want to protect the ground instead of the sky, get Air Patriots, a tower defense game that turns your boring old stationary turrets into planes. Build a squadron of aircrafts and draw paths for them to fly in in order to stop the enemy onslaught. But let's make music instead of war with Node Beat. You create tracks using node physics to build your songs. Connect chains of nodes together to change their gravity and speed to make something like this. Or you can make music using your Twitter feed. MellowTweet takes your feed and allows you to interact with it like never before. You create different barriers for different sounds and can increase or decrease the speed of the tweets depending on how you want the music to be. MellowTweets acts as a normal Twitter client as well and makes posts, but come on, that's old news. Making music out of tweets is the new shindig. Another cool way to interact with your digital social life is with Pixable, an app that takes your Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram feeds and filters out everything but the photos. Pixable also curates a custom feed with trending photos and popular interests from all over the internet. And if you're going to app all night, you better wind up night. You play as a tiny knight who needs turn keys to keep moving. Jump roll and slide down walls and slash enemies in your quest to save the princess. You can even upgrade your gear to be as functional and fashionable as medievably possible. Once you rescue the princess, take her food spotting. The app lets you see how many people loved an item, read reviews of it, and even make a reservation so you can gorge yourself on cheese fries. Uh, cheese. Just be sure to wash your hands before you eat, especially considering this episode's app of the week. Plague Inc., the incredibly popular and incredibly addictive game by Endemic Creations. You're tasked with creating a deadly pathogen with the goal of annihilating all of humankind. Evolve your virus and increase its effect on humanity, how it becomes distributed, and the difficulty of researchers being able to find a cure. You have to use strategy and your knowledge of climates and landscapes in order to make your virus as devastatingly destructive as possible. Links to all the apps can be found in the description below. I'm Jake, and as always, thanks for watching. Also, the Humble Bundle is out for Android, Mac, Windows, and Linux. It's five awesome indie games, plus their soundtracks, and the price is whatever you decide. You can choose how much of the purchase price goes to the developers and how much goes to charity. Give me that cheddar cheese.